Good morning students. Welcome back to your social science tutorial class. I, Shoimalini Sharkar, as you all know, will be taking your social science tutorial class. I hope students you all are doing well. I think you all are fit and fine at home. So students, we are going to start a new chapter today. Let's see what is the name of the chapter that we are going to learn today. Yes, we are going to learn about Chennai. Chennai is the capital of Tamil Nadu. So, we are going to learn about the city Chennai. Chennai is located in the southern part of India. Let's see what new we are going to learn about the city Chennai. About the city. Chennai is the capital of Tamil Nadu. It is the fourth largest city in India. So Chennai is the fourth largest city in India. The city was earlier called Madras. Chennai, previously Chennai was known as Madras. Chennai can be divided into two parts. The old city called Georgetown in the northern part and the other part which is located south of Georgetown. The main road running through the southern part of the city is called Annasalai. So the city can be divided into two parts. The old city called the Georgetown and below the Georgetown there is the south of Georgetown located there. South of Georgetown is located just below the northern part of Georgetown. The main road running through the southern part of the city is called the Annasalai. So which one is the main road that is running through the city? It is Annasalai which is running through the southern part of the city. Location. Chennai is located in the southeast coast of India. So, Chennai is located in the southeast coast of India. In olden times, it was ruled by great kings. Later, the British came and settled here. Chennai is also known as the gateway to South India. So, if we want to enter from the southern part of India, so the gateway of entering the mainland of the country India it is Chennai previously it was ruled by the great kings afterwards the British came and settled over here climate Chennai has a tropical climate the weather is hot and humid for most part of the year Chennai receives rainfall in winters now students I hope you all remember that Delhi is having an extreme kind climate and Mumbai is having a moderate climate. And now here we have learned that Chennai is having a tropical climate. The weather is hot and humid for most part of the year and the exceptional case in Chennai is it receives rainfall during the winter seasons. So Chennai receives rainfall in winters. Transport. The first railway station in South India was opened at Roipuram in 1853. The first railway service started between Madras and Arcot. At present, Chennai Central is the main railway station. It is connected with a number of cities in India. Chennai has broad roads and is well connected with all major national highways. The most famous road in Chennai is the Annasalai or the Mount Road that is there in the southern part of the city. Buses form an important part of road transport and connect all parts of the city. So which one is the important source of road transport? It, they are the buses. Taxi, 
ऑटो मीटर स्कूटर्स वैन्स एंड मैक्सी कैब्स रन ऑन मैनी रूट्स इन द सिटी अ मेट्रो सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन सो नॉट ओनली बसेस वी विल गेट सर्विस लाइक टैक्सी ऑटो मीटर स्कूटर्स वैन्स एंड मैक्सी कब कैब्स ऑल्सो दैट आर रनिंग इन द सिटी एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली द मेट्रो सिस्टम इज अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन द चेन्नई इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट सर्वस बोथ डोमेस्टिक एंड इंटरनेशनल फ्लाइट्स द अन्ना इंटरनेशनल टर्मिनल एंड कमराराज डोमेस्टिक टर्मिनल आर द टू मेन एयरपोर्ट्स इन द सिटी नाउ प्रीवियसली वेन वी हैव रेड मुंबई एंड दिल्ली वी हैव सीन दैट ईच सिटी और स्टेट इज हैविंग ओनली वन एयरपोर्ट But here we can see that Chennai is having two airports, and these two are main airports, right? The city has two major ports: the Chennai port and the Ennor port. Not only two airports the city is having, but it is having two ports also. They are the Chennai port and the Ennor port. Both the ports are well connected with major ports of the world. it is an important center for carrying out domestic and international trade so all the trades that happens in this city both domestic and international trade takes place from this ports it takes flex from the chennai port and the ennor port culture people of chennai speak tamil and english people from different communities and states have settled here though it is a modern city traditional music and dance like bharatanatyam and classical carnatic music are popular tamil and english theater festivals are held regularly madras youth choir is the oldest choir group in india Chennai is also the center of Tamil cinema. More than 100 Tamil movies are made every year. Nowadays Tamil movies are becoming very popular. And we can see here that every year more than 100 Tamil movies are made. Now the main classical form of dance of Chennai is Bharatanatyam. Not only Bharatanatyam classical carnatic music are also very popular festivals all important festivals are celebrated in chennai however the most important festival is pongal so which one is the most important festival of chennai it is pongal it is celebrated in mid jan so in the middle of the month january they celebrate the festival pongal which is their main festival or the most important festival The Tamil New Year is celebrated on fourteenth April. On fourteenth April, as we celebrate Bengali New Year, they celebrate Tamil New Year. Diwali, Eid, and Christmas are also celebrated with great joy and enthusiasm. Not only they celebrate Pongal or Tamil New Year, they also see celebrate Diwali, Eid, and Christmas, and they celebrate all the festivals. with same kind of joy and enthusiasm clothes people in chennai wear cotton clothes because of the hot weather the weather is hot and humid so they prefer to wear cotton clothes the traditional dress of men is vesti lungi and a shirt see the picture of the dress of male members are given in the box below women mostly wear beautiful sarees girls wear a dress called pavadai and a long blouse see the picture given women are very fond of wearing traditional temple jewelry they like to wear jewelries that are known as traditional temple jewelry they are very fond of it food rice is the staple food of the people now i think i have explained you 
that the South Indian states they mainly depend upon rice. So you can see here that rice is the staple food of the people. Spices, curry leaves, coconut and lentils that is dal form an important part of their diet. Some of the popular dishes are idli, dosa, uttapam, sambar, rasam, kaad, vara and upma. On special occasions, the meals are served on a banana leaf. Beside these food items, filtered coffee of Chennai is also popular. So, what are some of the popular dishes that are found in Chennai? They are idli, dosa, uttapam, sambar, rasam, curd, vara and upma. And one more important thing that you have to keep it in mind that on special occasions, suppose there is a birthday or marriage ceremony or something that is special, they serve food in banana leaf. Okay, it is an authentic way to serve food. Places to visit. Now, what are the tourist spots of Chennai? Tourists from all over the world come to visit Chennai. The city is famous for its beautiful temples and beaches. The marina and the Iliad beach are popular. Fort St. George, Government Museum, St. Thomas Mount, St. George's Cathedral, Gundia National Park and Gundia Snake Park are some of the places visited by tourists. Art and Craft Bronze and metal handicrafts, stone carvings, silk saris and gold and diamond jewellery are famous in Chennai. The city has some of the best sari shops in India. Now, bronze work, metal handicrafts, stone carving, silk saris, all these are very much famous. What they do? They carve statues in bronze, in any kind of metal. See the stone carving, they create beautiful designs on top of the stones. And saris are all famous in the city, Chennai. Industry. Many international automobile companies are situated in Chennai. Tire manufacturing and information technology IT companies are also present in Chennai. The Tidal Park of Chennai is one of the largest IT parks in Asia. Now I know. Now let's have a quick recap of the things that we have learnt in the chapter. Chennai is the capital of Tamil Nadu. It is located in the southern part of India. Chennai has a tropical climate. People of Chennai speak Tamil. Pongal is the most important festival. Rice is the staple food of the people. Filtered coffee, idli, sambar, dosa, vara and uttapam are some of the popular dishes. Chennai has many automobiles and IT companies. The most famous IT company is the Tidal Park of Chennai and it is one of the largest IT parks in Asia. What are the difficult words that we have came across in the chapter? Trade. The act of buying and selling or of exchanging goods. Choir. A group of singers who sing together. Traditional, something which is passed down from one generation to another. Handicrafts, an activity where objects are made by hand. Stone carving, a work of art made by cutting or shaping a stone. Automobile, a road vehicle typically with four wheels. So students, we have reached to the end of the chapter. I hope this video will help you out to know the city Chennai. Please go through the video and know the southern city of India that is Chennai.
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी बाय बाय एवरीवन